welcome, welcome. This is our final uh, session of our Move More Falls Prevention course. Um, we say that because you are still doing homework, but this is our final live session with us today. So what you're going to experience is just a few things, some little um, tastes of what can happen moving forward. And um, we will reinforce the message right the way through this session today. So I'm going to start by mobilizing you, but we are going to do something different with it. Okay, so those that sit, sit. Those that stand, stand. Um, either way, um, you've got me for the next 10 minutes. So um, when we follow the FAME model, so this is the Falls Management Program, what we do for you is to deliver 50 hours of training and education that will, the evidence tells us, the evidence <laughs> That's crawling on the floor underneath me. The evidence tells us that if you follow this model and this method, that in time, hang on, hang on. Um, yeah, that's yours. Um, if you follow this model, then what should happen is this will reduce falls and improve on confidence and well-being. So we're progressively working on getting you strong and steady on your feet and surprising you. So what happens is over the journey, if you reflect of where you've been and where, and where you are today, there should be some differences. Um, small things about rising out of chairs or, or maybe confidence things about making decisions to go out and about. But all of this is working towards the more active you are, the less you sit, the more you move, the better you feel, the more well you are. Okay, so without further ado, something slightly different today, and we're going to do a little bit of tapping. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is take your right hand, and I just want you to pat your left. Now, if we are weak, and there's somebody, and there's some of you in the session that are struggling um, with being able to do this, I, I want you to kind of impro improvise and think differently. So it's about just tapping up to your elbow, a little like smack if you like, and then the inside of that forearm and down towards the palm. Okay. Then I want you just to kind of go around that forearm. And now we're going to go up the arm towards the shoulder. Little pats inside of the arm towards the chest. And now if you can, the back of the arm around to the back of the shoulder. Maybe if you can squeeze around the back into the armpit and then back down to the hand. Okay, from there, we're just gonna do some rubbing. So a little bit of a, um, a rub rub. So if you're putting on a bit of cream, all the way up, up to the back of the shoulder, around the top of the shoulder into the chest maybe the armpit, and then we're just going to do a bit of a squeeze, as if you're trying to squeeze a rag, um, a bit like Chinese burn, but kinder. So you're going to go across the arm, across the wrist, up onto the back of the arm, into the shoulder. So, so everything is in long lines, but you're going across those lines. And then give yourself a squeeze cup, like cup in your hand, squeeze. Lovely. Okay. Then, then I'm going to shake it out. Shake, 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 shake. Take it back. Right. You know how we talk about messy movement? There's no style to this, fortunately. Just going to shake, 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 shake. Got it? And then relax. What you should experience and notice a difference from one side to the other, right? Yeah? Okay, so let's repeat it on the other side. So we'll start with our little tap. And you'll notice, you'll go, why are we doing this? So you've got skin, blood, muscles, tendons, so this is about stimulating your nerves. So we're going to go up to the shoulder, 
So this helps us with our pain management too. Front of the chest, little taps, back of the arm, around the armpit, front of the chest. And now that rub, up and down, up and down, hand, forearm, all the way up. And then that cross in. So if your muscles are going straight up and down, we're going to go across. And I tend to do this with a pinch as well. So I'm grabbing at the same time. Lovely. Okay. Now with that, a little wrap around. So your arms should feel, they might feel longer. They might feel a bit closer to the body. Good. Lovely. And then let's flop those arms, get them out. There you go. I'm going to teach you a lovely little tip and trick for the back, okay? So I want you to take your hands into the small of your back and then wiggle your bottom or wiggle your arms. So I've got my back, I've got my belt microphone pack on. I want you to kind of go, got it? Keep going. So keep, keep going, I never said stop. So at the very beginning of the session of when we started these classes 25 weeks ago, we would also assess you to see if you can take your hand around the back. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing a little wiggle jiggle. It's on your back. Now think about sassy pants. Wiggle your booty. So give your bum a little wiggle. At the same time, yeah, your knuckles are just pressing into your back. And what I'm hoping you're going to feel in a moment when you release your hands is that your back feels a little bit softer. Nice moves then, Aureen, by the way. <laughs> Good skills, everyone. <laughs> oh, lovely. So what you, you might be noticing that there's a tingling sensation, maybe a little breathless because you're wiggle jiggling quite a lot. And now we're going to do something similar with your legs. So top of your thighs, around to your bum cheeks, middle of your thighs, so there's no reason why you can't do this in sit, down to your knees, and then a little rub. So rubbing from your knees up to your thighs, around the back. So, and you're having to do that by bending, right? We've released your back a little bit. So it's, it's, all, it's all sneaky stuff to make you move more. Yeah, well done. Beryl's loving this today. Lovely, lovely. And then finally, we're just going to pump those heels. How does that feel? So reinforcing all that good behaviour that you've been going through so every week systematically. You've been attending the sessions and you've been mobilising all of this to get you into that place so we can start the science. We can do the evidence piece around um, how to move you more. Okay, so whilst we're here, we're stepping back together, stepping back together. In sit, you're perched in the top third of your chair and you're sitting back. I'm not sure if they can see me at all. She's distracted. Sorry. I know, but that will go to the feet. So, so never give up. You know, just because you're sat, it doesn't mean that you can't move. So, and it's about having a go at everything always. When I tap back like this, I'm thinking about squeezing my bum and I'm thinking about straightening my knee. Lovely. Marching back to center, marching out, 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 in, 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 in. In, in, out, 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 out. In, 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 in. 
Lovely. Let's do that one more time. By now, you're feeling like she's conning you. I can see my shoulders now. Well done. Out, 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 and stay out. Okay. We're just rock the talk in side to side. So these are all movements that we know. The wide base way is good for balance. But while you're here, let's enjoy it. Pat does the lovely floaty arms. I do anything weird. I don't even think they can see my arms. Yeah, can they? It's being very tall and the film camera is a bit odd at the moment. Okay. I like that. I like the double arm. So yes, this is challenging your balance, but have you noticed it's charging your breath rate as well? You might notice that your heart is, is going a little bit stronger as well. All good stuff. I'm going to take off my glasses because they start to steam up. Lovely, lovely. Okay, and we're coming back into our marching. So you know me, you know me, I'm a nightmare. Okay, we're going to take two steps out to one side. If you feel a bit of a boogie inside, I introduced this recently, so a little grapevine. It's a step, cross, step, together, step, cross, step, together. Don't overthink this, team. So if you want to, it can just be a step together. Interestingly enough, when we have reached out to you and asked you for feedback, it is the sidestepping that you often talk about and how you've noticed that this has been really helpful for you. So if you want to make it fun, you can. You can bend your knees, add a song. None of this is prescriptive. It's taking you into different directions, but all comes back to the science, which tells us the more you practice this, the more your brain remembers this. Um, even though your mind might not remember it, your body remembers it. And it becomes really embedded. So we get better at this. And when we get better at this, it's one less thing to worry about. Okay, now walk to me. Okay, we're walking and now we're reversing. Walking and reversing. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be forward and backwards. You can do it out to the diagonals. But actually, it's the reverse mechanism that is really good. Walking forward, our bodies are really used to that, right? Reversing, whoo, reversing, not so much, mostly because we don't have eyeballs in the back of our head, but we worry. We worry about trips and falls. So this is about building your confidence all the time. So from here, let's step towards the camera and step away in a sidestepping fashion. See, anything goes. Are we good? Shoulders back and down, nice and tall, long and lifted. Back to forward and back, stepping. Oh, you've got this today. Use those arms, the beautiful arms. Use them. Have you noticed that you've got your sass on now? Pat, just so you know, off camera, Pat's like this. Oh. <laughs> well done. Okay, now do this for me. Now use your chair for support if you need to. We're lifting one leg and lowering. Lifting one leg and lowering. It is important to give us height here. I need to know that we've got good function in that lift. Now, I don't care how you land that foot. Nice and lifted. Lift and hold, pop it down. Whew. Lift and hold, pop it down, good. So again, this is about pausing. That's quite strong on your balance, but it's high repetition. So that's working your heart muscle too. So the strength, the balance, the cardiovascular fitness, it's all linking together. Okay, so let's be cheeky today. Lift and step. Lift, step. What does Pat call that? 
she calls it the something something step compensatory step. compensatory step can think of the word today so to challenge you you know sometimes we have to step over thresholds or climb stairs this is just challenging us to land differently okay when you're ready let's switch sides again in sit same thing lift compensatory step lift compensatory step you choose I'm looking for that high knee and it's the height that's important right now so really get that knee nice and high pause and hold and the pause and hold is you your core muscles go in my core's working my balance is working because I've built confidence and strength in this area so I've got the capacity to hold my leg in a strange place. You're looking good. Pat, you've done a good job. Thanks, Lauren. Nick, you've done a good job behind the scenes, just keeping a sneaky eye on them all as well. Right. Okay, good, good. Come back to March. Okay, now we're going to step back. And together, step back. Now, I'm having a cheeky look over my shoulder because I'm nosy. Okay. So this should be coming, um, this should be more of a commonplace movement pattern when we do this. You're in your kitchen. Somebody talks to you when you go, what? What was that? Because you can't hear. And I thought, well, for me, the pans go in, the music's playing, and then the kids go, Mom, 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 my adults that live in the house, by the way. Mom, what? I can't hear you. It's so noisy. No, you can't have that to me. Okay, so this is all preparatory stuff. This is getting us really totally focused on, on keeping ourselves steady. Beautiful. Come back to that march. Okay, we're going to go down and up. This is about ankles. This is about knees. Lowering your bum. Rising on your tiptoes. Sinking down and rising. Sit. Those in sit. I want you to think about coming up and then lowering down at your own pace. Now, I know that I am pushing you today. That's my job. Remember, I'm the evil one. Lifting and lowering. Now, you can use support if you want to. Do what feels right for you. Lowering and lifting. Lowering and lifting. Because at some point in every day, you need to use those knees. You need to bend to get on the loo, right? Not collapse on the loo. Lovely. But sometimes we do weird things and then relatives tell us off. It goes like this, bend, reach. Oh, did you see my leg lift off the floor then? So I bent and I oh, reached, bend. I'm using the chair for support. I am trying to reach. Now, old me would have been fearful of that. You and Tom. I attend move more and my false prevention is really kicking in. In sit, same thing. You know, it's, it's good to know that you can reach out of your chair and take yourself to the point because it, this is about confidence building. We're working on building, um, um, building you to a point where you feel comfortable to, to knock out these moves. Lovely jobly, hairs up. I said I'd only do two minutes in my own. Perhaps just let me just crack on. <laughs> it's nice for me to watch all of the lovely people doing it because I don't normally get to see them. And actually it's just amazing. It's like Mrs. Magoo over there. Okay, we got it, we got it. Okay, so. I want you to come around to the back of your chair 
So those in sit, we are going to do some um, chest work and, and some presses down onto um, a surface. So if you bear with me, in sit, use a desk in front of you, or if you can stand, and at this point, I really want you to consider that, we're coming to the back of the chair, and all we're doing, staggered stance, lowering and lifting. So we're dropping the chest towards the chair, and we're pushing away, okay? That's all we're doing. So it might be that you do that against a desk, because some of you are watching from a table in front of you. It's really important. Now, if you don't have anything in front of you, consider this. So feet wise, perched, top third of your chair, hands on your knees, lowering and pushing up. It's not as effective, to be fair, which is why we really encourage you to stand at this point. So a couple of things. There's the hand-eye coordination bit going on here. This is your head looking down and then looking forward. So we think about um, how your ears feel around that, which affects your balance. But equally, there's some mobility going on around shoulders, elbows, wrists here too, okay? Not to mention what's going on in the back. Lovely. And release. Okay. So we are walking around our chair and we're taking a look at the chair and we're going to do a big lunge towards it and grab it as if you haven't seen it for a while. Hello. A little forward and back. Then we're going to step together and rise up. Now listen, I'm working really fast. I know that, but you know this too. So you can step away from the chair, turn, lunge towards grab it and then shift your weight so this is about building strength in your arms and more importantly your wrists when you've done a handful of these you step together you rise you walk away and then you repeat there you go mixing it all up today if you're sitting, you can just do sit to stands as well if you don't want to join in or just have a little rest. It's fine. Hello, chair. But this is the importance of, you know, if, if you are sat and you are in a wheelchair, it is so important to challenge rather than accept. So we want you to be able to give things a go and be okay because this program is designed to keep you safe and constantly chip away at improving your well-being. Well done. Come up, stand. Do a little jig around your chair if you want. So I'm going to do a little circle around my chair, one direction, and then I'm going to slowly turn. I'm going to walk around my chair in a different direction because I can. Hello, chair. I'm going around. So this may make you feel so slow down. Take your time. And again, nice one. You're looking a bit lush, to be honest. It's a bit like a dozy doe, right? Well done. Okay, so we're just going to give yourself a minute. So I'd like you to have some water um, or whatever it is you're drinking this morning. Um, and then we are going to move towards a wall. So the camera is going to adjust in a second. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've just got a little one. Okay. So in sit, you can do the same thing. So give yourself a minute or two to set up in sit you can do the same thing so here's your wall you're dropping your face towards the wall but i want to encourage you to do this um in stand a couple of little tips here the further your feet are can they see me the further your feet are away from the, um, the wall, the more intense this can be. 
always that wide base of support. Hands nice and wide, lower the face, push away. Now I like to take my hands off the wall. So I land, stand, lean, stand. And just because I can, I like to mix up my hands as well. So one's high, one's low, both together, both wide. Because again, typically, there um, you have nowhere of predicting if you go and study. Keep going, I said. Oh, Nori. You have no way of predicting how you're going to land, right? So just these variables, putting your hand in different places, is, is about the safety here. So when you land towards the wall, just mix up where your hands go. Excellent. You look great. Okay. Stop for a minute and just watch. Can you do a zoom on me? No, but I can come in. Maybe I can bring no, it. You can zoom it. Top slidey bit. I think. Oh. There you go. Right. Now watch this, okay? So I'm on my side. I'm going to lean on the door. And then I'm going to just walk my feet away a little bit. Go on. Carry on. Hand to wall and I'm pushing myself off. Push in. Whilst you're doing that, keep going. This is the movement. Got it? So we do it against the wall. Safe, easy. But this is how you get off the bed, right? Push yourself up and then you swing your legs around and then you do this. Oh, crikey. <laughs> and then you take your pills and then you decide you need a wee and then you rise to a stand and pump your heels. Well done. Okay, switch sides. Other side, shoulder against the, the door or wall. Outside hand presses your body off the wall. I quite like it because it's quite cool on my shoulder, so I like mm. that feeling. This is about strengthening one side. So God forbid, so let's think about um, stroke, let's think about got a shoulder impingement, shoulder injury. You know, it is really important to, to practice one side only. Um, it doesn't mean that um, you turn everything off on the other side. There is conversation going on from your right to the left. So it is important to train one side at a time only. Well done, lovely. I am now actually going to pass you back to Pat and she's going to do some band work with you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, is that right? Yeah, bang on. You're right. Yeah. What was that? Toxic. Good morning. Are we all right? I don't know. What is she worn you out already? Yeah, it was quite shocking, wasn't it? She go, just do, I'll just do this. I was like, you crack on. <laughs> done a whole zumba class and strength training and all sorts of stuff oh shush your face right let's do some band work then so i wanted to go over some things that we haven't done for a while um because you can just practice these but you just need to set up okay you can do it with bands you can do it with tins you can do it with with a bottle of water so let's do the lovely back of those arms and why because you need these muscles to be able to press up okay especially um, getting up in the bed, moving back with bed and things. So we're going to put one end of the band under both your feet so it's steady and it's not going to kind of ping out. And then you're going to hip walk to the front of the chair. Now, with one hand, we're going to hold it so it's along the outside edge of your leg. I'm going to drop my hand closest to my leg and I'm going to just hold it where my hand dangles down. Okay. Then I'm going to lift my elbow back. My hand is still by my side. So it's right at my hip, in between my hip and my waist. And all I'm going to do is straighten my arm, but keep that elbow there. Drop that shoulder, because what happens is we kind of lift that um, shoulder up. Now, 
I can see some arms coming out to the side. It's not a side. I'll show you face on in a second. It's back. If I was facing you, it's directly back, directly behind. So out, behind, keep that elbow. So it's as if you've got like something wrapped around your arms and it's keeping you stuck in to your, your arm, to your face. Lengthen that arm, bring it back in. Lengthen that arm, bring it back in. Keep going, but really try and drop that shoulder down and then relax. Keep it there. Just have a little, uh, that's quite strong into your ribs, your back, your shoulders and the arm. You should feel it, the back of the arm rather than the shoulder. If you, We're going to do it again, but if that wasn't hard enough, hold it a bit further down and add on that resistance. If it was too hard, just hold it up a little bit higher. So let's go again. Pull in the muscles in your belly and just think about your posture. So all that will just help to strengthen you. If you need to. Nice wide feet. And then let's send the arm back again. So out and in, just your forearm is moving. Keep that wrist nice and straight, strong. Your grip, your gripping hold of that band. So great for your finger strength. Can you hold it back? Pat, we can't hear you. Oh. Off you down there. It's falling down. Oh, Tell them to keep going. God. Keep going, you we, we can hear you now, Pat. No, it's, got, it's dropped. It's, it. it's got lost down between the boobs somewhere. It's going to take a while, team. Yeah. So, I've got it. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Did you carry on? No. Did you try? Yeah. Because we like it when it all goes wrong in yeah. live TV. Rest. Oh, can you feel it in my arm? So you should feel it in the back of your arm. So this little bit here. So give it a little rub. We'll stretch it out shortly. And then we're going to swap sides. So I'm going to turn my chair around. Now you might have one side that's a bit weaker or stronger than the other side. Put your feet on. Feet nice and wide. Ooh. Now, don't hold your breath when you're doing this, okay? So I'm going to hold the band down at my kind of natural grip natural arm length and then lift that elbow back okay that's the really important thing is keep that elbow back and hand is at your hip and then we're going to she's taking photos of me pulling faces so but i don't know if she's mean i've got a funny face or she no it's fine I was making so, that. straighten that arm and bend it so try to keep control because it's easy to let it ping back we don't want to do that so out in is that arm and when we get tired it's really easy to let that arm go out we don't want that so tuck it back in and it's as if you've kind of got something behind you and you're going get away back you should be feeling it now rest Ooh. did you keep breathing or did you hold your breath Who's in Tenerife? Oh, in Tenerife, that is, um, that's, is that Colin and Anne in Tenerife? No, it's Roger. Roger and no. Bernice. Yes, Isn't that's right. Awesome? Let, let's go again. Yeah, well done for joining us from Tenerife. We should have come with you, shouldn't we? Mm. That would have been nice. Out and in. There, we could do a little around the world session with you. You just put it on expenses. <laughs> they won't mind. We have to well. <laughs> well, we'll just reduce costs. I'll go on my own. Oh, tiny little presses. Keep breathing. Breathe in and out. It's fine. It's not hurting. It's good for you. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, my word. How does that feel? You must, must keep doing this. You must, must keep doing your arm strengthen, strengthening exercises and your leg strengthening exercises, all of them. We'll send you some PDFs of those. And you've always got the videos. So other one is the opposite, your, bice your bicep. So lots of different ways to do this. You could we'll do a different way. We'll put it under our thighs. 
because then it just makes it a bit longer. So pop it under your thighs safely, because I've just kind of lifted both legs up, but I know not everybody can. And then come forwards again. And we're going to hold the bands with palms up. So you've got the ends dangling on the outside edges of your hands, okay? And then you're going to think about posture and just lift up through your chest, but still tuck your bottom in under. So you've not got a big arch of the back, but you're, you've got a long spine. Okay, elbows tuck in, and we're going to lift one hand to the shoulder and slowly lower it down. Now, you should have a little bit of resistance all the way up, especially at the top, and then all the way down. If you don't have enough resistance, if you think, oh, that's too easy, hold it in a bit closer. If it's too hard, go out a bit wider. So one, lower down, other side, lower down. Keep going. Strong wrist again. Nice, straight, strong wrist. Grip that band because you don't want to let it go. But I want you to grip it equally with your thumbs, your first fingers, all of your fingers and your little fingers right the way through. And then we're going to alternate. So can you see the change as I'm dropping one, I'm lifting up and you might get added resistance there. Uh, keep breathing. And then hold it there. Keep hold of your band. You can have a little rest and a wiggle. You might feel that into your back. Hopefully not. And then reset your posture. Because we're going to go again. So we're going to lift up. Brace through your core. And this time we're going to go one arm. I'm going to say beautiful posture, Mary. One arm. Lovely. And we do both arms twice. So lift, lower. Malcular figure. Lift, Lower. One arm. Other arm. Both oh, arms. Monica, Monica's looking good too. Good. Honestly, you look lush. So in, in aerobics, we call it single, single, double, double, single, single, double, <laughs> single. Okay, they, they don't believe that they all know how lovely i am what an angel i am how's that are your elbows still tucked in rest oh. rest of wiggle are we all right how's your muscles we'll stretch them out in a bit god jay looks like you noreen <laughs> she just pulled her face i was gonna say jane, pulling the face yeah jane does <laughs> Right, we're going to go for one more. Now, if your shoulders won't get up there, it's fine. Do what you can. Feet wide here. Hold on about shoulder width to start with. You can alter it and adapt it. So we're going to send your arms up like you would do in your reach. However, this time, we're going to bring the arms down and wide. I need to make mine a bit wider because I can't get full length. So down to the chest and let it come higher so it doesn't have to be your head it can be up at the diagonal it's kind of about 45 degrees that makes sense so it's slightly in front it's in front not up there yet so up and down have you got resistance on do you need to alter it visually that, that looks beautiful yeah and it might make you a little bit hot a bit out of breath good now, the wider it is, the easier it is. Rest down. And then we're just going to go an extra step if you can. You don't have to do this. but So you can either have a watch. You can either carry on with what we've done, or you could lift up above your head and wide. So you're still the same movement. It's just your arms are a little bit further back. So it's just going behind your head, but you don't have to. You can still go in front if you'd prefer. How does that feel? So a little bit of rotation. And if we had you in class, we might kind of go up and over. Oh. But we might not. Nice. Just as far as you can go. Really good for shoulder rotation, mobilizer. Again, you are 
the easier it'll be. Fabulous. Hold it there. Roll out the shoulders. Ooh, can you feel that? So roll both shoulders all the way down the back. Lovely. And then lost sound again. You, I think your other t shirt touched. What about now? What about now? What about now? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, oh. we can. Let's do a little with your bands. Yeah, we can. I love this one. Lost it again, Pat. No. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Um, we're going to tie tie a little knot and the bow in your band. So it's like the size of a dinner plate. If you tie a bow in it, you'll get it undone. If you tie a knot in it, you'll never get it undone. But then that's good for your fingers and your fine motor skills. So. There's always a win-win in Move More World. So Noreen's putting it on her head. Yep, you can do what you like. What we're going to do is we're going to put your pants on. One of my favourite exercises. So you're going to lift that leg and try and get that band over your foot, just over your toes. It's quite hard because you're not going to lift your knee towards your chest. You're going to lift it outwards, okay? Oh, and mine's come undone. You can undo it if you like, if it's too hard. So re remember that other option is to just put the band under your foot and then lift and lower. So this isn't strength. This is more mobility through the hip joints. Okay. Why do we do this? Remember when we're trying to get up from the floor and we need to swing that knee around, it gives us that lovely motion that lovely movement so let's try that movement out over and in slide it out over and in out and if you've got hip replacements just do what you need to do to make it safe for you some of you might just have some restriction in that movement some of you might want to lean back a little bit if it puts too much pressure on your hip joint Okay, let's swap sides. So, first of all, we're putting your pants on. If you haven't got a band, it's just that movement, lifting up, knee out and down, knee out and down, lovely. Otherwise, it's trying to put your pants on. Ooh. And that's not an easy movement to do. So you keep going. And I'll just show you why we do it. So remember this movement here, when we're trying to get back up off the floor, we need to move that leg around in a circular movement here. Then we curl the toes, push up and come back in. And we need to be able to do it on both sides. That's really important. Okay, let's put the band under and let's just go out, over and in. Out over and in perfect oh you look amazing out over and in and use the band to just help that leg up and over and one side might be easier than the other just go with it out up and over and in slide it out oh can you feel it And hopefully it's not painful. If you need a re if you need a rest or a break, you can do. But we're nearly done. There you go, lovely. And let's undo this band. Ooh, fabulous. Let's do one more. Our lovely dumb waiter, which is really good for your upper back, your mid back, and your shoulder. Um, your shoulder movements because we get quite stiff in our shoulders and it really helps to open the chest but work through the shoulders so palms facing up 
holding onto the band. We lift it off the knees, elbows tuck in. And then we take the hands wide, draw it right back to your belly. So it touches your belly button, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Send it forwards, release that tension and drop down. Now again, you can make it harder by holding in a little bit, lift up, squeeze, pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades, send it forwards, release and let go. And just keep going. If it's too hard or you've got shoulder pain, you can always just stay here, go out and in, or you can pull back and go out and in. See how it feels, but we're trying to get this movement. You could do it without the band. We're trying to get this movement, taking the arm outwards, that external rotation. So keep going. Let's pull it back, hold it there, and we're just going to go out and in, out and in. Smile, it's good for you. Out and in, or oh, squeeze your shoulder blades. Smile, keep smiling. Can you do three? You might not be able to. Two, one, elbows in, send it forwards, release. Breathe, you should have been breathing. Just round through the spine here, because that can be quite um, strong into, kind of sometimes you go into a bit of hyperextension. So just round the back, send your hands over the knees, tuck your chin to your chest and let your hands dangle over the fronts of your knees and have a wiggle if you need to. Just a wiggle. And then come up and let's just do a little side to side lean because that will just release off your ribs. Lovely. Any tightness, any tension there. And then let's just do a little rotation to the side. So holding your elbows. Just taking a little rotation to one side, then the other. Excellent. And then let's take one arm up and over. Nice wide feet. Other side. We'll do a little flow. Are your feet wide? If not, take them wide, up and over, a little reach. Try and press that hand away above you. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Reach. So you're really trying to reach this arm up to the ceiling, stretching through the ribs. Don't hold your breath. And we take both arms up. Press those hands up. This time we're going to lean with both hands, or you can take them slightly further forwards. That's it. Keep breathing. Lovely. Come to center, drop down. Excellent. Let's roll those shoulders out, but bring in the elbows in. So send the elbows forwards, up, back and down. Up, back and down. Fab. That's it. Let's do one arm, then the other. One arm, little backstroke. In the sea. Okay, let's stretch out the backs of the arms. So take one arm across you, open out. Take it across you and open out. Same arm, across, reach across and open, reach across, and let's change sides. Reach, so trying to keep that arm about shoulder height just so you get that stretch into the back of the arm. Lovely, a couple more times. Last one. And then taking the hands behind you, just squeezing the shoulder blades together, looking up to the ceiling. Breathing, you're nearly done. Release, let's take the hands over the knees again. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Hands over the knees, chin to chest, round through that spine, pulling the middle of the spine towards the back of the chair. Excellent, and then coming up, let's stretch your legs. 
So one leg comes out. And then let's just do a slightly different one. We're going to take the hands together and we're going to brush that hand down the front of the thighs and off. Brush down. So lead with the nose, not looking right down to the floor. Lovely. Brush off and press off. Brush down and off. Keep breathing. A little massage through your thighs too. Let's swap legs. So trying to pop the other hand on top this time. And this would be one of the assessments we would do actually, if we were with you in class. A little hamstring reach. How far could you reach down to your thigh, knee, shin? It just shows how flexible you are or how much how much um movement how much flexibility you've got lovely and then hold it there have we stretched everything i think so are they should we do relaxation let's do relaxation then we'll stop and have a little chat just breathing so settle in your chairs sit down full back rest Oh. Full back rest. Close your eyes. Take some long, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Nice wide feet to make sure you're, you've got a lovely base of support still, even while you're sitting. And just let it go. A long breath out through the mouth, let, letting any tension go from the top of the crown of your head, through all those muscles in the face, the jaw, the teeth. Relax, drop those shoulders. People say, how can I relax my shoulders? Drop them down. Sometimes it helps to just scrunch them up, make a fist, and then lower down and just let go completely. The muscles in the chest and around the shoulder blades. Just physically tightening and releasing. And do it again if you need to. Tighten and release. Just let the belly go. Feel supported by your chair. Feel the back on the chair, the backs of your legs. Tighten through those thighs, the bottom, the calves, squeezing the toes up towards the knees so the whole of the legs are tight. And then let them go. Crunch the toes up and then let them go. Spreading the toes out in the shoes. So the whole body is resting and relaxing. There's no tension. And then just come back to your breathing. And just noticing if it's fast or slow, or is it getting slower? Are you recovering? Are you coming back to normal after really um, quite intense session? Whether that's just concentration or physically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Congratulating yourself for being here, for committing to the process, to the program. And just noticing your progressions. And not always progressions. Noticing how maybe you've maintained your strength and balance, or maybe you've slowed down any deteriorations, that's equally as important, if not more important for some of you. So just recognizing that. And just by being here is just a fantastic thing for you to do for yourselves. So moving your toes, moving your fingers, coming up to sitting, Having a stretch again. Oh, thumbs up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Thumbs down. Oh, squeezing the shoulder blades. Rolling through the shoulders. Taking a breath in. Roll through the shoulders. Put your hands together and give yourself a huge round of applause. 
well done for finishing our course 